The Vigo County School Board has made a decision that will impact the future of the three high schools. We told you before the school board had narrowed down its options to two different renovation plans for the high schools. News 10's Blake Dollier was at that meeting tonight. In tonight's education alert, he tells us which plan you'll be voting on in May. Patrice Rondrell, tonight the Vigo County School Board voted unanimously to put option number two on the ballot. It's a $260 million referendum. This means if approved, there would be a tax increase per $100 of land that you own. Taxpayers will have to vote on this for the May ballot. At tonight's meeting, people spoke for nearly two and a half hours and only one person voiced opposition. The rest were for this option you see here, option two. The school corporation says the proposal looks like this and there will be newly renovated academic spaces and non-learning spaces. All three high schools will be worked on all at once. Teachers and school administrators say this plan is a great start, but they're encouraging the public to vote for it. While option two wasn't everyone's favorite choice, they say it's important the community had a say. I think that it was an excellent step in the right direction. Uh, a lot of people showed up tonight with their support. I think the community understands the path forward to the future is really investing in our schools. It wasn't necessarily the one I liked, but it's the one that I think our community can rally to. And um, I think they've, they've made the right choice and we need to get busy now. Members of the school board say they would have been okay with different options, but they're glad this one went through. Many landowners also spoke at the meeting and they said they looked at this as an investment rather than a in tax increase. Patrice Rondrell, back to you.